The next thing I want to talk about that empowered me as a student, um, that empowers us as a student, is New Tech gives us the chance to be passionate about something and gives us a chance to um, realize that we can be powerful and we can uh, have an impact on the world. Um, an example project that I want to touch on is the Mr. President project that we did this past January. And they put us in groups um, of multi-levels, which is not something that usually happens. It's usually an in-classroom thing only. Um, but I was paired up with a junior and two freshmen, and we were given this simple task. Um, we were to propose what America should do with the education system. No big deal. Um, I was freaking out. We had a week to put together a poster with our solution and backup evidence and uh, sources listed out, and then another week to write a letter to President Barack Obama. Again, freaking out. We researched our tails off, um, but realized that we were able to come up with a pretty feasible solution and got 100% on our project. And that's not something that happens at New Tech. I think I got a 95 on my paper. I, I think I missed like the date or didn't turn in a draft or something. I was disappointed. But anyway, um, this was a great project that empowered us to realize that uh, we can uh, you know, come up with something kind of worldly, worldly or nationally. And we didn't realize that before this project. Um, the next project I want to talk about was the Red Flex project, as, as they like to call it. Uh, who here has heard of red light cameras? Who here has received a red light ticket? Be proud, it's OK. Um, anyway, so uh, our project was presented to us by Napa County. Napa County asked New Tech seniors to put together a presentation recommending what they should do with their contract that's expiring this year with the red light camera providers. So they said, New Tech seniors, whoop, sorry about that. I just messed up the clicker. Um, New Tech seniors, should we either keep the contract as it is, uh, change it and keep it, or should we let it expire? And that was also something that was kind of difficult. We had to look up policy. We had to uh, research. We had to understand the way the money flowed. We had to take polls to figure out what the community thought about them. Um, and so my group kind of went a step above and beyond, and we interviewed the mayor of Napa, Jill, and we interviewed the commander of police, uh, Jeff. Um, but anyway, what was really cool is we found out a couple things. We found out that people were not only being fined for um, going straight through red, light, uh, red lights, uh, $440, but they were being fined the exact same amount for turning right on red and not having stopped for three seconds. And then we found out another thing, that of the $440 fine, 300 of it was going straight to the state. So people were angry at the county and the red light providers for no reason because they thought they were being overcharged by the wrong people. So our recommendation was uh, uh, let it expire because we shouldn't be fined $300 for a ticket from the state for different reasons. They weren't even using it for trafficking. Um, but anyhow, uh, New Tech had a huge impact on the county. Because of New Tech presentations, uh, Napa County put together an investigation and found that a lot of the red light tickets were being falsely given. So they suspended the cameras and are still suspended. So that was extremely empowering for all students. We realized that we could have effect on an entire county, which was amazing.